Hi, today we're going to create this Fibonacci spiral. And um, one thing, one cool thing you will learn is uh, how to create this special kind of for loop where you don't just always take uh, the output and all of the pieces, but rather you'll just take the last last iteration, do something with it, and then merge it all together. So this will be a special kind of uh, for loop. All right, let's begin. Ever since I saw this tutorial made by Anastasia Opara, where she creates this uh, kind of mirror with this Fibonacci spiral, I always thought like, man, I, I wish I could I wish I could have this kind of asset, like it sounded really cool. I had absolutely no idea what I would use it for, but I wanted to have it. Uh, but back then I didn't have the skills and lately I realized I could actually do it. So I made it and uh, here's how you can do it. So first I started with uh, this amazing website called mathcurve.com where you can find info about all sorts of mathematical shapes and it's just an amazing site so go check it out and uh, here you can find the golden spiral and how it's constructed and everything about it so I went uh, with this approach I think you can construct it in multiple ways but I went with this approach which sounded uh, very simple so basically notice this you have you have a golden ratio which is this this Greek letter and it's 1 plus uh, square root of 5 divided by 2. That's the golden ratio. And it's something around 1.61. And uh, notice this is the spiral and how it's constructed. You have uh, these kind of rectangles. And in this rectangle, if it's like a quarter circle. And this rectangle Notice like this one is, is the same as the original one, but it's just rotated and it's scaled by the golden ratio, which is this equation. And again, you know, rotate it 90 degrees, uh, scale it again by the golden ratio, you scale the scaled one and again scale the scaled one and uh, so on and so on and uh, you create this uh, Fibonacci spiral. Now let's have a look how this would work in Houdini. Okay, so first we're gonna start with creating this uh, basic uh, square with the quarter of of the circle that we're gonna copy around. So this is how how I did it. So you start with a grid. I offset it so the so the pivot is at 0, 0, so that's why center is 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5. Then you add a circle to it, you set the type to open arc, and uh, you know, just create this uh, section of it, this quarter circle. Its type is the polygon, you can set the divisions. And the uh, last part is this one point which we're going to use as as a point where we want to copy the other the next part so we're going to use the use the use it to copy the next part here we're going to copy the other one and the other one and the other one and so on so it's just a point and we put it in a group let's call it copy point and uh, then we're gonna use this uh, transform scale and we put an equation in it and this will scale our rectangle accordingly and we will have another one for rotation and uh, in here we because the loop we would start with nothing so let's initiate it with, with one basic point which will be in here at, at 0, 0.0 it's, so it's, it's basically the same as this one except this one is in here and this one is in here and again we put it in the copy point group 
Okay, and uh, here is the heart of of this mechanism. So the for loop. So you create a, a for for each uh, I think a number number, and uh, you would probably have to modify it. So first thing, this is set to fetch feedback, which now you have fetch input. So this will, I think that this would always feed this what this basic point in it, which we don't want. We want the fetch feedback, which should um, import at the next iteration. It should import uh, this last last part. So that's what we want. So this needs to be set to fetch feedback, uh, uh, fetch metadata. I don't think you need to change anything in here. Yep. And at the last one, uh, by it's set by count and merge each iteration. My count merge each iteration. So you don't need to change that. That's all good. So the only thing you need to change is this to fetch feedback and it should work and what we're going to do at the beginning is we're going to uh, delete everything except except the copy point so we'll have only one point that we're going to copy the geometry to and nothing else because remember at the end we will when we when we copy this rectangle in here we will get all the rectangle with all the points which we don't want we, we only want the one copying point position so at the beginning of each loop we will de delete everything except the one point now we will use a copy two points to to copy our rectangle to but before before that we're gonna scale the rectangle and this is the equation so this is this is the golden ratio that we talked about this one and uh, we will use the power power of this number and the power will be the, the multiply the, the times that you multiply it will be actually the iteration count so first iteration is multiply it uh, the, is, is the golden ratio power of one then it's power of two power of three and so on so again like we we saw in the in the on the website the math website for each iteration you have to increase the the scale so it's smaller and smaller and smaller so you scale the previous rectangle by another golden ratio by the power of, of, not, of another golden ratio and uh, so this is a simple power well not super simple but a fairly simple power equation and for the rotate I don't think I changed the pivot yeah so for the rotate we will just rotate it by 90 degrees and we will multiply it by again the iteration number so for first iteration multiplied well, by one second iteration multiplied by two and so on so, so we'll get minus 90 minus 180 minus 270 and then so on and then full circle and so on so every time it will rotate it will rotate this so this square uh, around around this pivot and it will rotate it around and this is what you get so again let's see it in action so you start with the first iteration which is zero is nothing because the start value is one so we start with one now you can see the uniform scale is one and the rotate is zero if you go to 2 it's minus 90 and this is uh, 0 
if you go to another iteration again here you can see it's less now this is again it increased by 90 degrees or actually decreased by 90 degrees and, and so on and actually the beauty of this approach is because we're uh, we set the segments in here and uh, we copy it you you would actually always need like more points for the if you want the small definition because you see like this distance wouldn't work for this kind of curve so you need more and more division so it's actually really cool that if you if you crank it up you will have always the correct set of of divisions for the arc so that's, that's actually a cool, uh, cool side effect of this of this method and then the next thing you can do is delete the rectangle if you don't need it because we put it in a group in here so now, now I'm able to delete it we can uh, fuse the fuse the points so they merge together add some some normals to it some up, up vector and now if you if you use sweep you can add sweep to add some thickness and have an actual geometry out of it if you want to uh, it won't work very well uh, once you once you have a lot of iterations because the because of the thickness of the line but uh, it should work well for this kind of shape and that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching hope you learned a thing or two and see you in the next one